Well, I did something I probably shouldn't have done. I ordered a 9900 KS. KS. And, you know, I really didn't need one, but I thought, what the hell, it's limited. But I wasn't going to pay the crazy, you know, $600, $700 people are asking. I actually got it from a place called ProVantage. I'd never ordered, you know, from them before, but apparently they've been around a while and I got it for 530, which is not much more than a 9900 k So I was like, what the hell, why not get a KS? The only downside is the one year warranty instead of three. And I was gonna use my uh, AORS Gaming 7 Z370 board, but I was afraid the VRM well, the VRM is good, but the heat sinks are not up to par, I don't think. So, I went ahead and ordered a AORS Master. So, I will be putting the uh, the KS and this uh, the H500 with the 2080 Ti. And I think I'm going to put my 8700K in that, that case right there and put it with the Strix 2080. I'm not sure. I, I might put it back in that case, but I, I think I'll put it in in that uh, thermal tape case and mount it uh, vertically. I'm not sure. But I, you know, I almost ordered a, a, an ASUS board. I really like the, uh, the MSI boards too, but the VRM and the heat sinks were top notch on a uh, Gigabyte or Aorus on, you know, Z390 boards. I don't like the BIOS as well. I've always liked the SUSE's BIOS and I've, their RGB software on AORUS sucks and uh, ASUS is much better with that. But the KS is pretty fast. But really after seeing all those, uh, that test with the uh, 3600 RAM with the CL14 timing on the uh, 3950X, man, I need to get some uh, faster RAM for my 3900X. Because, man, it really closed the gap on 9900K in gaming with that really tight timing. I still like this case the best. I don't know. It's just clean. I think the 7 goes good with it. I almost bought a 5700 XT, the, uh, the Nitro Special Edition. But I went ahead and got the 9900KS. And I like the Radeon 7. It don't get enough love. I've got w way too much shit in here now. I really should have never built the ITX build, but I just wanted to build one. My room is a mess, as you can see. Got crap laying everywhere. Jeez. I gotta pick it up. I need to make another game room. I've already took up two rooms in my house, and I've got a decent amount of space, but I got getting too much crap. I want to start taking stuff down to the basement, I think. But have a good one. My, well, my, I think my CPU will be in tomorrow. And the board will be in, I think, tomorrow also. So I may start and put it together. Kind of excited. It should be fast, but it definitely will be a lot hotter than my 8700K. Because it's deleted. But I have a... Core Master ML 360R uh, AIO with push pull fans in this, so it should help cool it. And I have the glass front for this, and I know it'll look way better, but man, with the mesh, it really makes it one of the best airflow cases. And now, especially that I have a 9900KS, I was going to put the glass on if I left 8700K in there because it runs really cool, deleted, but. 9900K, I think, is a space heater. I'm just hoping it... I may end up running at like 4.8, 4.9 and undervolt if I don't like the temps because it really ain't going to make that much difference in gaming. But I just wanted to fill you in. I should have it here pretty soon. And it's a cool chip, but really, for your average person, AMD is still probably the way to go. I mean, you just can't beat it. They're, they're the best all-around CPU for sure. I still say probably the 2600 is what I'd recommend for most people. I mean, for $115, a 6-core, 12-thread CPU is, is hard to beat. Or maybe when they had those sales on the 2700X for like 160 
that's still a great CPU, especially if you're playing at 1440p. You won't tell any difference between those two. But uh, have a good one.